World, this is Serge WD Haiti with Serge WD Haiti CPA PLLC, where life is good and living is better. And today I'm going to be presenting myself as a dreaded CPA on another episode of Trust Estates of Westford Transfer Taxes. So, in our last video that I made, I was going over um, distributions from the trust and estates, and two items was the main focus in those videos and it was regular distributions and distributable net income so in this video i'm going to continue on with just that one piece which is distributable net income and the distributable net income is the maximum amount of deductible distributions that the trust or estate can make to the beneficiaries and therefore on the receiving end is the maximum taxable income that the beneficiaries can receive from the trust or estate. The taxable income is basically the income of the trust and estate with several adjustments. And these adjustments are the personal bull exemption deduction trust and estates have those um, exemptions they're almost considered as a, another person and I broke down you could see 600 for the estate 300 for the simple trust and a hundred dollars for the complex trust then you have tax exempt income which increases the taxable income Minus the related expenses, capital losses, that's related to the principal, capital gains related to the corpus, which is reduction in the taxable income, taxable stock dividends, and those are reductions to the taxable income, and finally, extraordinary dividends that's related to the principal inside of the trust or estate. After making these calculations, you get down to the distributable net income. And this is basically the simple formula for distributable net income. And if you have any questions, you can reach out to me and I'll get back to you. And I'm gonna close out with you know, this presentation as the dreaded CPA of Serge W.D. Haiti CPA PLLC, where life is good and living is better. Peace.